Texas Governor Greg Abbott ramping up enforcement after 53 migrants are found dead stuffed inside a tractor trailer. The governor's calling for more action and accountability from the White House, and our next guest agrees. Lieutenant Chris Oliveras from the Texas Department of Public Safety joins us now. Good morning to you, Lieutenant. Good morning, Angie. Thanks for having me on. Well, thanks for coming on. Tell us about these checkpoints and what the governor's doing. Well, this is another example, a clear example of what the state of, Te state of Texas is having to do to take on this responsibility of securing the border because the federal government fails to secure the border. And this has been happening ever since last year when Governor Abbott launched Operation Lone Star, which is a border initiative. It's all state funded. It's all state resources, state law enforcement, National Guardsmen. But what took place Monday, this past Monday in San Antonio with 53 immigrants that were killed uh, because of a human smuggling event, Governor Abbott again launched another initiative to crack down on these human smugglers and we're seeing an increase in human smuggling events across the southern border uh, where these human smugglers are placing these immigrants in dangerous situations by smuggling them in, in commercial vehicles and trailers and wooden crates and the trunks of cars and of course now with the extreme heat in south texas uh, unfortunately and tragically we're going to continue seeing more events that took place in san antonio so the whole purpose of this initiative is to deploy additional manpower, state resources, law enforcement, to actually crack down on these commercial vehicles that may be used for human smuggling. Some of these trucks already have made it past the checkpoints. They made it past Border Patrol checkpoints. So our focus is, is to stop these vehicles, inspect them, and try to prevent um, any more mass casualties that we saw in human smuggling events that turned tragic like we saw in San Antonio. Well, the vice president, the border czar, uh, she says that your governor, Governor Abbott, is playing politics. And then she also blamed Trump's policies for all of this with Remain in Mexico. They say that the borders are closed, but the lieutenant governor in Texas said if the borders were closed, people wouldn't be coming in. We saw the highest recorded number of apprehensions last month, 239,416. This just proves that the borders are wide open, right? That's correct. So all these, all this, you know, uh, these narratives and these statements by operational control and, and the borders are closed. That's that's inaccurate. That's that's false information. They're providing false information to the American people. We know that for a fact. The numbers, the data reflects that. Just to put this in perspective for you and for the viewers, I mean, in the year 2000, we had one single month where we saw over 200,000 encounters. One single month in the year 2000. Ever since 2021 and now to present, there have been five months where we, we have seen over 200,000 encounters along the border and june is already be june is already going to be projected to encounter the same as well over 200,000 encounters and then over 445,000 gotaways for this fiscal year that's known gotaways individuals that have made it across our borders that are now into the interior we do not know where they're at and where they are and also fentanyl we're seeing record number of fentanyl deaths which we have never seen before in prior years but again it's all go this all goes based on these open border policies that the federal government has and they have they have continued they have continuously have made a negative impact on the American people by not securing the border. So the state of Texas, again, it's time to step in and take action. I know you all are overworked and frustrated because you're not getting much action from, from Washington. But thank you so much for what you do. You're working very hard. We appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.